No? No. You asked for a copy and then you not you didn't do it. What was that about? I don't know. I didn't know what we did today. What? I was so repetitive. I know. Like, I'm like a broken record. Yeah. Bring my being a broken record at home. My son tells me, Mom, you already told me. I said, Sorry. Sometimes you need to repeat. My students need about a couple of repetitions. <clears throat> Good job. <clears throat> Next topic is flow rate and drip rate. Thanks, Brian. That doesn't give you credit for your homework today. Flow rate and drip rate. Bigger than a drift, right? So think about a faucet. That's a flow, right? But when you use a dropper, it becomes a drip. Okay, so can it be interchangeable? Yeah, in tests, sometimes they ask you, what is calculate the flow rate or calculate the drip rate? They say drip rate, but they wanted the ML per hour, okay? So know that we have two possible <clears throat> formulas that we can use for flow rate and drip rate. And if you watch the video, is it cold? I can feel the uh, air blowing. And if you watch the video, what is the formula? <clears throat> R equals V over T. That's your flow rate. R stands for rate, which is the speed. V stands for volume. And T stands for time. Since flow is large, okay, this will be what unit? ML over hour. Hour can be H or HR, lowercase. Okay? Now we make it smaller. It's just that. It's really just that. Let's make it so smaller. So the formula will be <clears throat> V over T as well times C. There's a drop factor constant, right? Because, um, how do you call that? Uh, micro drips and macro drips calculations are different, okay? Some deliver a 20 drops per ml. Okay, some deliver at 10 drops per ml. That means there's large, there are larger drops, right? Because the lower the number, that means the bigger the drops, okay? So if it's 20 drops per ml, that means it's a smaller opening, smaller drop. Because you need 20 drops to make it to one ml. You follow? That's why we have the drop factor constant, okay? But we will park this on the side for now. But I want you to know that R equals VC over T is the same. Do you agree? Yes, okay. Who likes the way I did the transposition before calculating? Okay, if it's the R that's missing, I put the R on the left side. If it's the V that's missing, I put the V on the left, left side. Did you see me on the videos? I have different sets of videos for a reason. Because sometimes the V is a question. If the V is a question, the question will go, how much? Take note. If the volume is the question, your answer should be in ML or drops. Take note, GTT is the symbol for drop, GTTS drops. It came from the Latin word gota. If you speak Spanish, gota, that's fine. Okay, so GTT. So the question, here's the tip. When you see the question, how much, you're asking of, being asked of, volume. <clears throat> you follow? Okay. When you see the question, for how long will you infuse? What is that? Time. Your answer should either be in, hour, or? Okay. Drop factor constant is usually given. And that is your drops per ml. It's just a calculation of whether it's a macro drip or a micro drip, okay? How many drops does this set, does this IV set deliver per ml, okay? Those are your units. We'll park this one. We'll do this one first because it's easier, right? ML per hour. 
So, Ms. L, what is the question if you're asked of the flow rate or drip rate? It's either what's the flow rate or the drip rate. Okay. But pay attention to the unit. They may want ml per hour or they may want drops per minute because they, these are interchangeable. Okay. But technically, flow rate should be ml per hour, drip rate should be drops per minute. Clear? Okay. Let's start. <clears throat> How many questions is this one? This is the easy one. Let me see if we have the same exact one. First one is order 2000 ml. Correct? Order nor normal saline. Yeah. With 10,000 units of heparin to infuse at 750 units per hour okay that's so huh that's the other word for a minute i sorry that's not that one because i wanted to do the ml per hour first thanks michelle let me find this one okay we do ml per hour first <clears throat> okay so do it again. Thank you. Thank you. Speak up. Huh? Okay. I'm too, too, too thick skinned to be correct. Order 2000 ml. Pretend I'm your smartest classmate and I'm taking the test. And this is how my test paper will look like. Okay. 2000 ml of quarter normal saline. I'll park the quarter normal saline here just for me to know. Okay. Infusing over. Infusing by pump over 24 hours. I see numbers. Okay. At the beginning, I'm probably just reading it. Right. But I saw the question, what is the flow rate? So I'm going to do it like this test. And then I'll identify this one as V. Right. And then I'll identify this one as T. -T. Well, that's pretty easy. Right. If I know this formula, this always shows up on the PTC. By the way, this topic is about 10 or 12 questions on the final. Okay. That's why I'm not collecting your papers. That's your review paper. Okay. So let's start. The only thing here is you got to know the formula. <clears throat> you got to know the formula. And it's a matter of plugging in the numbers, right? So we have to do V over T, right? Very easy. 2,000 ml, and it's already in the right unit. Divided by 24 hours. And the answer is... Okay, let's clarify this one. 83.33 ml per hour. For flow rate and drip rate, it has to be whole numbers. Okay, how we decided this day? <laughs> round down, round up. For flow rate and drip rate. What did you want? <laughs> I can't remember what I said in the video, but based on my answer piece, it's round down. In the video, it said round up? Okay. That means, that's the latest video, by the way. You know why we're confused? It's not that we don't know. Back in the day, they said round up. And then they said round down. And then, so when we do curriculum review, all the instructors talk and they say, what do you follow? What rule do you follow? So if I said, Michelle, you paid attention. If I said on the video, round up, round down in the video. Okay, so I said in the video, round down, that means that's what the final exam followed. Okay, round out. So your final answer should be 83. Remember, if it's round down, just drop the decimal. Doesn't matter if it's over five. Clear? Who got 83 ml per hour? Hands up. The rest are the same. Okay, so let's start. Cheyenne, number two. Good job, 83 ml per hour as well. Number three, Dianara. If we're following the rule of rounding down, it's 46 ml per hour, okay? I even crossed out my answer key, okay? It was made by another instructor, it was round up. So I canceled it and made it round down, okay? Which means we're following what the final exam is using, okay? So 46 is the correct answer. Leslie, number four. 71 ml per hour. Good job. Correct. Who got this one? Take note. 
The correct abbreviation for ML is lowercase m capital L. But most of the time, we just write ML, and that's fine too. Okay? Both lowercase is fine. <clears throat> Next one. But the technically leader is capital L. Okay, so I'm going to go lowercase m capital L. Antonio's like, I really don't care about the units. I have to write my numbers curve, like legibly. <laughs> Number four. Uh, Brian, you got this? Oh, sorry. Number five, Brian. <laughs> oh, my God. Number six, Iporia. I got the wrong answer. Oh. <laughs> You might be forgetting in case you forgot. In class and homework are heavily weighted, 35%. So if you don't do homework and you don't participate, there's a big chance that you're going to fail this class. Why? Even if you get a perfect score on the quizzes and everything else, what's 100 minus 35? 35. We're not Clark County. What's our passing? <clears throat> seven, seven. You know, huh? I remind you all the time. <clears> okay. <throat> what number are we in? Six. Number six, you four, yay. 151. Flowers? ML per hour. ML per hour. I told you, make it a habit till you put the unit. You're spoiled, the unit is there. On test, you're not going to be spoiled. Okay? ML for hour. Back to you, Brian, number five. Mm. I, don't want, I don't want a question mark. You have to be say it with conviction. Conviction. Answer? Good job. 90 milliliters per hour. I'm really so annoyed by you. You see, you don't do this things, and then you get it. You just have to do it. Okay? Number seven. <laughs> There are people, can you imagine that? There are people who are struggling in math and they have to spend so much time studying to get it. And you just walk in, you get it fast. Number seven, Leslie. 31 milliliters per hour. Got that one. Zoe, number eight. 111 milliliters per hour. We got this one. Good job. Michelle, number nine. 166 milliliters per hour. We got 166 ml per hour. Cheyenne, last one. Is that the last one? Yeah. Yes. 52. Uh... Job, guys. Now, freshman, do you understand why Zoe kept saying watch the videos before she walks in the door? Because <clears throat> it's not the first time you're meeting low rate and rate. You've met it before you got here. So it's more like it's not a getting to know face anymore. Okay, so it's more like, oh, I know you. Then you're getting comfortable, right? <clears throat> Next one, ready? Drip rate. The only difference in drip rate is what? The only difference in drip rate is what? The C. Like I said, because of your infusion set, it can be a micro drip or a macro drip. So they have to put the constant, the variable in there. And you don't have to calculate that, okay? It's always given, okay? It's based on the IV infusion set that we are going to use or <clears throat> the nurses are going to use. So you ask me, um, students ask me, Ms. Oedo, how to do flow rate and drip rate. Isn't that the nurse's job? It's true, it's a nurse's job. However, it shows up on test. And I remember one of our accreditors He's a pharmacist, old school as well. And he said, I was in the hospital and these nurses were like, <clears throat> can't calculate the flow rate and drip rate. And I told them, give me the numbers. And he did it on the paper. He was a patient. Like, okay, here's your flow rate and your drip rate. <laughs> it's cute. He is an old, old man. He's a really good guy. But he told me that story. And since he told me that story, I keep telling me the story. Very seldom will you do this, right? But <clears throat> shows up on test. Okay. Remember those reminders on this part. When you hear the on the question, how much you're being asked of drops. 
or ml. When you hear the question for how long it will infuse or how long, you're being asked of time. Since it's a drip rate, it's going to be in minutes, okay? And then the drop factor constant is usually vivid. <laughs> I told you, I'm going to take this out. I told you that R, the formula for drip rate is R equals V over T times C, where R is the drip rate or the rate, V is the volume, T is the time, and C is the constant. In this case, your V will be in drops. Okay. Your T will be in minutes. And your C will be in drops per ml. <clears throat> this is when dimensional analysis comes in really, really handy. Okay. <clears throat> but I told you this formula is also the same as this one. You agree? Because this is kind of like a whole number over one. Okay. So in the videos, I just transposed, right? If the question is, what's the drip rate? I kept it here. If the question is, how much? I'm being asked of what? Volume, right? For me to transpose this to volume, what do I do? Let's scribble on the side. R equals BC over T. This becomes RT equals VC. You understand that, right? And for me to just leave a volume here, I have to divide both sides by C. Now I have a formula for volume. You agree? Yes. So this becomes RT over C. Again, volume <clears throat> will be how much? For this part. It's transposition, right? Okay. Well, if you didn't understand this, you can just plug in the numbers, but I don't know how that works. It's so messy. Do you agree? Those who understood it this way? Do you agree? If you, it's so messy if you just plug in the numbers like that. And then the X is at the middle of it all. I don't like that. I don't like the, the X at the middle of it all. I don't like X. <clears throat> Continue. So the question now is, for how long will it infuse? What's my variable? Time. Time. Let's try to calculate time this time, okay? Going back to this, <clears throat> it'll be RT still equals VC. For me to leave time, I have to divide it by a variable next to it. You agree? Okay. So this becomes VC over R. Do I memorize this? No, I just know this part. It's just the R equals V over T. On the test, I do this. I scribble again. I didn't have to memorize. Why do I have to memorize three formulas? You don't. You just have to remember the V over T times C. And then do this, what I'm doing on the side. Always just an spouse. Okay? <clears throat> and then the rate will be as it is as we started. Okay? R equals BC over T. Let's put it in action. Let's put it in practice. <clears throat> you notice this is your longest worksheet. But each page, one, two, the six pages, 10 descriptions for every variable to make sure that you have that practice. <clears throat> First hand prescriptions are, questions are, what is the flow rate? Pretty easy, right? Plug in the numbers. What's the flow rate? Plug in the volume as long as it's an ml or drops, figure out the drops, constant, and then your time. <clears throat> Let's try one. Order, pretend again, that I'm your smartest classmate, and this is my test paper, and you're copying how I doodle and scribble. Order is 2,000 ml. So I have a 2,000 ml here. With a quarter normal saline, I'll, I'll put this on the side. 
because I don't know if I'm going to use that in the calculation, right? Because in my formula, the formula in my head, I don't think I need that, right? <clears throat> With 10,000 units of heparin. I got a 2,000 ml. I was given a 750 units per hour. Man, now this is messing me up, right? Because <laughs> I don't remember a units per hour in the formula, right? There's a way to figure out what was missing. Now, you have a drop factor constant. I'm going to label this right away. I know that this is easy, right? And then it told me the drop factor constant. So I know I have a C is 20 drops <clears throat> per ml. So if I have V, I have a C, I have to calculate the R, right? Based on the problem. Where's my T? That's how I should look at it, right? You notice I put this on the side because I don't know what to do with it. But I can see an hour unit right here. So I think a ratio and proportion will work. Let's try. If there are 750 units for every hour, okay, or you'll infuse 750 units in an hour's time, how long will 10,000 units be infused? This is yes. <clears throat> What is the <clears throat> what is the answer here? What's the time that I can use? Thirteen point three three hours, right? Let's leave it at that for now. Okay. Now it's not yet done. R. Okay. So what's my V? Am I in the right units now? We'll see. Okay. My V is an ML. Okay, let's see if it'll work. Sorry, I need this. <clears throat> My V is an ML, 2000 ML. Okay. My C is in what? What's my C? 20, 20 drops per ML. Oh, I can see I can cancel this now. Right, right off the bat. Now I'm being, I'm left with drops, right? And what's my T? 13.33. <clears throat> 13. 13. hours. I don't think it will work because a drip rate should be in minutes. What you can do is to convert your 13.33 hours to minutes. How many minutes are in an hour? 60. That's what you can do. So you can have minutes plugged in here. No, you don't have to do anything because you will be left with drops per minute. <laughs> can somebody help me? What's this? Um, 800 minutes. 800 minutes. Let's use 800 minutes. Okay, perfect. Now can I calculate for my R? Multiply all numerators. You know why? You can see that you're left with the drops per minute now, which is the correct unit for your grade. See that? <clears throat> okay, answer? 50. 50 drops per minute. Who got that one? Hands up. I'm done explaining. Next one. One to 10 prescriptions are very similar. Okay, once we get to 11, 20, that's another one. <clears throat> Number two, Zoe. 12 drops. 12 drops per minute. Who got this one? Okay. Now it says on my box, final answer must be whole numbers round down okay, in red. I put it in red and it's my handwriting. Okay, So <clears throat> I'll let you read since you're left. Which one? This one. Final answer must be in whole numbers round down. That's my handwriting. Okay. So I know I did it. <clears throat> okay. Answer to number two is 12 drops per minute. Who got this one? Good job. Number three, Michelle, you're next. Uh, seven drops per minute. Who got seven drops per minute? Hands up. Okay. Raya, number four. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Number five, Le Poirier. Mm. I'll get back to you. Number six. <clears throat> you already know your score for today. Number six, Leslie. Mm. Uh, drop Ooh, you missed something. Is it just five? Five. Wait, six, three. Mm -mm. Do it again. <clears throat> Number seven, Cheyenne. I don't have a five. It starts with a five, but it's two digits. Okay. Number seven, Cheyenne. Are we on six or seven? Sorry, I got confused. Six is Leslie. Seven is you. Correct. Don't second guess yourself. It's one drop per minute. Number eight, Daya. <clears throat> 66 drops per minute. Good job. Number nine, Antonio. 75 drops per minute. 75 drops per minute. Number 10, Michelle. Six drops per minute. Six drops per minute. You're not off the hook, right? Number, four. <clears throat> Number what for you? Uh, it was four. Four. I'm still working on it. Okay. Euphoria, you ready? No, I'm still working on it. Leslie, you ready? Is it 56? Yes. I Number have... six is 56. What did you do wrong? I put the decimal uh, in the wrong place. I got 5.625 and it was 56. See how dangerous? Okay. Be careful. But good that you figured it out while you're here. Not out of sight. 56 drops per minute. Seven. Gaia. Oh, we did it. But Cheyenne. <clears throat> Four and five, we're waiting. <clears throat> Who understood this topic? Good job, guys. <clears throat> we're going to do 11 to 20 prescription next. <clears throat> Brian, number four. Pretty sure I got it wrong. Uh, Look at you. You already talk yourself out of it. Like, are you already downplayed it? It's not like the other answer. I got a 2000. Oh, no. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to move this confidence in the now. Yes, no. Okay, for you. Number five. Yes. I'm not finished. Um, Remember, you're. For this one, <laughs> we don't have all the time in the world. We got how many minutes left? <clears throat> Okay, Miss J is so nice to me. Every time I want to take her class, she lets me. <laughs> Still got some work to do. Hurry up, guys. Still got more to cover. <laughs> so once I start 11 to 20, now we're going to be behind again. That's why I give homeworks ahead, okay? So you can be ahead of me. <clears throat> Brian, my voice has an expiration. Up to 12 noon only. <clears throat> Number four. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I let me do it the other way and I got the same answer. So I don't know. Okay. Yiporye, number five. Um, I don't know. Okay. I'll do number up oh, once. Zoe, number four. Yeah. You don't know um, have much room. 33 drops. 33 drops <clears throat> per minute. You want us to do it on the board or you want a student to explain it? Because I've already explained this. Oh. Me again. Oh, oh, you don't understand. Have no, we won't do it. <laughs> Come on, Zoe. Number four for Brian. Michelle, explain number five for Nicole. 
on the board or <laughs> it's like you guys are trying to make time, but I'm fine. I bought time last night by not sleeping. All right, so we got to do some sacrifices because we're working on a report for accreditation. And so sometimes you have to sacrifice, or many times you have to sacrifice. Choose your heart. <clears throat> Why? If you don't sacrifice and you fail, your heart will be at the end. Now you got to retake the class, okay? Now you're gonna have to see me again. Sad. <laughs> Can't wait to get out of here, but you're gonna have to see me again, or you're gonna have to transfer to the night. <clears throat> well, Michelle transferred from the night to the morning. Mm -hmm. Do you regret it, Michelle? No, I like that. She looks a lot better. <clears throat> I like that she used red. I have two examples. One's another freshman. And the other one is a sophomore. So you got no excuse, right? <clears throat> I would have gotten Antonio, but he might not be able to read his handwriting. This mm -hmm. too got very nice handwriting. You want me to explain it? Yes. Okay. What number are we doing? So they know. Number five. Number five. <clears throat> so it's a different voice. I, I did it, the dimensional analysis on mine, but I tried to do it the other way on the board. So yeah, so that they could, <laughs> very good, they could understand better. Okay, so it says order 50 milliliters of normal saline, so volume equals 50 milliliters, uh, with 100 units of heparin to infuse at 10 units per hour. And I wrote that down. <laughs> never mind, give me a minute. It's okay. Doesn't matter if it's units per hour or you have your hour on top. <clears throat> I can kind of see yours, but did she still get 1.66? Yeah, but we rounded it down to one. Because it's round okay. down. I think it was, does it matter if we do it that way for the 13.33 hours at 60 minutes? It doesn't matter. You just know that there's 60 minutes in an hour. So 13.33 hours is going to be 800 minutes. Is it 800? No, it's not 13 hours. 13 hours was a while ago. That's 800 okay, minutes. Just, okay. okay, don't confuse her. Let her explain it. Because she's trying to do with how you would understand it. I know what she did, dimensional analysis. Okay, yeah. And I do it that way too. No, I got it. Oh, you got it now? Yeah. Okay. It. Continue though. Okay. So um, V is 50 ml. V is 50 ml. C is Listen. 20 drops per milliliter uh, time. So we're going to use our, uh, I don't know what I, you just flipped. You I flipped did up. a few different problems. That you think. You're on number five. five. So 100 units. It's showing us, if it's number five, 100 units of caprin. Infuse at 10 units per hour. There you go. Okay. So we have X number of hours over 100 units of heparin. It's equal to one hour over 10 units of heparin. You can flip-flop. Units over hour, hour over units. As long as you set it up correctly. 
Uh, that comes out to 10 hours, and we want that in minutes, so that's 600 minutes. There you go. Uh, then we're going to find our flow rate, which is uh, B, C over T. B is 50 milliliters. B is 20 drops per milliliter over 600 minutes. And that looks at 1.66 drops per minute, rounded down to one drop per minute. Very good. Who got one drop per minute? Hands up. Good job. Thank you, Michelle. Your turn, Zoe. <clears throat> Number four. Brian, pay attention. I believe all the 10 dots is following from value, volume, time, and um, C. Yeah. And then, wait, I can't really think of it in my head first. And then I have to get. Whoa, what is it? 10,000 units of heparin to infuse at 1,000 units per hour. And then it's mm. 10. You do 10. She got the time first. And then you do average over 60, um, 10 hours over um, X, and it's you get what? <laughs> 600. You get 600. Because it's 10 hours as well, same as number five. Because she ended up with 10 hours. So to convert 10 hours to minutes, take, take out the HR, put minutes. Because we're on drip rate, right? Mm -hmm. And you <clears throat> set it up with the formula, and then you multiply these and then divide by 600. You had 33.33, and then you round down to 33 drops. Good job. Who got 33 drops per minute? Okay. Did you understand, Brian? Four. She was doing a lot of things in her head. That's why she's she's struggling to explain it, but she did it right. Mm. So I did the 1,000 units over one hour, yeah. but what about the one hour over 60? Well, remember, the given was 1,000 units per hour, but you got 10,000, so you got the X. So your X will be in hour. This is 10 hours. But you want your denominator to be in minutes. And what she's trying to say is there's 60 minutes in an hour. So it becomes 600 minutes for you to just calculate it straight based off of the formula. That clear? Okay. Who got, who got 33? That's why you're getting it wrong. You've used 10. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Prescriptions 11 to 20. What are we looking for? The question was how long? Mm. What did I say? It's how long? Time. So what's our formula for time? BC over R. Once you have this on the side, it's easy. It's just a matter of plugging in the numbers, right? So this is the first thing I do on a test. I transpose those formulas. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's, I will do the first one and you're going to do the rest. If you have 100 ml, ooh, I can see that this is B, bag that is infusing at a rate, ooh, I got an R, I heard a rate, right? <clears throat> of 20 drops per minute. Okay. The administration said delivers. drops per ml. Miss how did you recognize that that's the drop factor constant? Remember I told you drop factor constant will be in drops per ml? Okay. <laughs> and so now it's a matter of plugging in the numbers. Okay. Your final answers must be in minutes. But sometimes the test will test you even further. And I'll ask you how much is this in hours and minutes combined, okay? So number 11, let's plug in the numbers. That will be V, what's my V? 100 ml, it's in the correct unit. What's my C? <clears throat> 10 drops per ml. I can cancel this, I can see it, right? And then what's my? You got a V, a C, what's my R? 20 drops per minute. Okay. I have a drop here and I have a drop here. Do you see what's left? Minutes, okay. A thousand divided by 20 is? 
About 50 minutes. Good job. Now we'll move on. Antonio, number 12. An hour and 40 minutes, correct. 100 minutes equivalent. Okay. Who got that? Hour and 40. Okay. Next one, number 13. Brian. You know it's coming up. Come on. It's like I have patterns. I have routines. You know it's coming. Euphoria, number 14. <clears throat> Okay, you gotta do it. Fifteen, Leslie. Uh, Bless you. Twenty-three hours and thirty-one minutes. Twenty-three hours and thirty-one or thirty-two minutes. I'll accept. Why? Because there was a decimal. Okay, one four one one point seven six minutes, right? But if you got one four one two minutes, you rounded that off. Then you get twenty-three hours and thirty-two minutes. But if you just drop that point seven, then it's 23 hours and 31 minutes. Both acceptable. Who got that one? Hands up. Okay, good job. Daya, number 16. <clears throat> Six hours and, nope, you're off too much. So I'm not going to accept that. Usually you're just off. You should just be up one minute, okay, on the rounding off. What's your answer, Antonio? 16. 16, yes. 375 minutes. 375 minutes converted to hours and minutes is? Six hours and 15 minutes. Good job. Thank you. Okay. I'm never talking to the wall when it's mad. I love it. <laughs> Number 17. Who got uh, 16? Six hours and 15 minutes or 375 minutes. Okay. Number 17. Back to you, Zoe. <clears throat> uh, 357 minutes. Correct. Convert Five. that to hours and minutes. Five hours and 57. Very good. Okay. Who got five hours and 57 minutes? Hands up. Cheyenne. Number 18. Correct. Can you convert that to hours and minutes, please? <clears throat> 19, Michelle. 67 minutes. Can you convert that to hours and minutes, please? One hour and seven minutes. One hour and seven minutes. Correct. Who got one hour and seven minutes or 67 minutes? Antonio, back to you. What's the conversion of 375 minutes? That's number 16. 375 minutes, uh, it's six hours, 15 minutes. Correct. Number 17, who did I call for 17? Cheyenne, are you converting 357 minutes? You called me for 18. Oh, for 18. 13 hours. Good job. 13 hours and 53 minutes. Who did I call for 17? I call you, Michelle, or Zoe? Called Zoe and she answered it. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 357 minutes for 17 and five hours or five hours and 57 minutes. Number 19, Leslie, back to you. I have one hour and seven minutes. I'll accept it. Okay, because I ended up with 67 minutes. Okay, who got that one? That's fine. That's why I said I'll accept it. If it's one minute off, I'll accept. Okay, number 20, Daya, back to you. Very good. Convert that to minutes. Good job. Okay. Who did I miss? Brian and Poirier. <clears throat> Number? Oh, it was 13. 13 for you. Okay. What's the answer? I didn't get any. Um, 14. Poirier. 750 minutes. Correct. And what is that in hours and minutes? You do it. Okay. okay. Number 13. Brian, it's just a matter of plugging it in. Come on. <clears throat> we got one more subtopic. Is it 12 hours and 50 minutes? Five hours and 50 minutes. What number are you, 14? Uh -huh. 12 hours and no, because 700 minutes is not 12 hours. No. <clears throat> You got it, 750 minutes, but what is that converted to hours and minutes? Oh, I had a question. You're raising your question? Uh. <clears throat> What's 750? You divide that by 60, you get the hours. And then the decimal, you multiply it by 60, you get the minutes. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. okay. What's the answer? 12 hours and 5 minutes. 
No, it can't be five minutes because 750. <clears throat> Leslie, what's 750 divided by 12? Uh, divided by, I'm sorry. What's 750 divided by 60? I got 12.5. 12.5. That's not 12 hours and five minutes. That's 12 hours and that's a 0.5 times 60. Half an hour is not five minutes. Half an hour, that means 50%. Half an hour is 30 minutes. So the correct answer is 12 hours and 30 minutes. What's quarter of an hour? 15. 15 minutes. I even told you the story, remember, about the student who comes back late during break, right? <laughs> Come back quarter after. The instructor kept saying quarter after. She kept coming back at 25, 10, 25. And then the instructor noticed, why do you keep coming back at 1025 when I said quarter after? Because a quarter is 25, not Monday. A quarter of 60 minutes is what? 15 minutes. So a quarter after 10 is what? 1015. So when you divide 60, when you divide 750 divided by 60, you get your whole number 12.5. That doesn't mean 12 hours and five minutes, a good way to clarify. That means 12 hours and 0.5 of 60 minutes. And what's half of 60 minutes? 30 minutes. There you go. Brian, 13. <clears throat> you on 13? But that's a good point because it's a good way to clarify that item. Back in the day, your timesheets on externship are on paper. And Ms. McGinnis always catches those mistakes, like 12.15, 12.25. It's not 12 hours and 25 minutes, okay? It's a quarter. <clears throat> Brian, 14. 14? I got 13. Oh, you got 13? Okay. What's, you didn't do that. Antonio, your turn to show Brian. 13. <clears throat> <laughs> you know your um um your traits right did you hear what you said yeah right nicely huh <laughs> or is this one so we don't get confused <laughs> even antonio can't read his own handwriting if it's like long enough then yeah <laughs> how do you review then I just go over what I can, what's fancy. Don't you think that's a problem? Oh, man. And you're like, I know I did it right when I did it. Oh. Do the videos help? Very much so. I don't know if the classroom before was better than this one because this is like bam. The recordings from the previous classroom. But we'll make it work. <clears throat> At least you know I'm not AI, I'm real. AI looks at mom. It's so real now that it's scary. <clears throat> Solar eclipse. I think a lot of them are AI generated. Some got really nice telescopes. They can get pictures like that. <clears throat> we got one more subtopic and we have 15 minutes, which we may have to continue tomorrow. We'll do four hours of math tomorrow. Okay. Worst case scenario, we don't get through everything, but at least I want to get through the explanation so for people who didn't get to that part they can do it before i start class tomorrow right <clears throat> what do you say i'm spaced out with it. 
I said, my goal, since we have 15 minutes left, is to finish the last topic demonstration on the board or explanation, which is how long will it take to infuse? So what's our X time, okay? Even if we don't finish all 10 practice problems, at least let me finish the explanation. So those who didn't get to finish the worksheets have time to work it before I show up tomorrow. <clears throat> so this is what this tells me. You received a prescription and you said, I'm not gonna feel it. It's not important. You see what you're showing me? Every single thing that we do here means something. Yeah, I gave you 20 prescriptions to fill. Not important. Not going to do it. Let that person die. Before it's not. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, explain. Okay, so I put everything up here. The volume was 25 milliliters. The rate was 30 drops per minute. And the constant was 15 drops per minute. So I did T equals VT over R, uh, 250 milliliters times 15 drops per milliliter. Uh, that was 3,750 divided by 30. I got 125 minutes and then converted that into two hours and five minutes. Two hours and five minutes or 125 minutes. Good job. Thank you. Tell Brian. See, at least I did it. <laughs> right? You understand what I mean when you don't do the homework that we ask you to do? This are prescriptions. How many prescriptions did you get? Just for this topic alone. There was two more. There were two more sets of prescription, right? That's just what you did to that patient. Oh, there's a prescription. Chemistry, mm -hmm. walk away and not feel the prescription. Who did that? <laughs> Us, them. <laughs> oh, there's 30 prescriptions I need to fill. <laughs> How important this is? Yes. What did you just do to that patient? <laughs> yeah. No one would like to work with you. Zoe will do it anyway. Yeah. Michelle will do it anyway. You're a free rider at the hospital with your team. Oh. I don't want to be in your shift at all. <clears throat> so I'm going to pick up your slack. Okay, let's continue. One last topic. <clears throat> Maybe they'll show up with answers tomorrow if we don't finish. Okay. Number 21, prescription 21 to 30 is what? What was the question? How much will the patient receive? So, this formula. Okay? Okay. I'll do one and then you do the rest. And it an IV is infusing at 45 drops per minute. I'll label this as R. The drop factor constant is my C. 20 drops per milliliter. I saw 10 hours here. In 10 hours, how much will the patient receive? 10 hours. We're still on drip rate. Right? So the first thing I do is to convert my 10 hours to minutes right off the bat. So I have the correct units already. And then use the formula. V, oh, no, I'm right here. Sorry, guys. So V equals RT over C. V equals, with my R? 45 drops per minute. What's my T? 600 minutes. I see. What's my C? 20 drops per mm. I see drops, one in the numerator, one in the denominator. Okay, 
I'm left with ml. Well, that matches the volume, right? Multiply everything, divide by 20, and the answer is? Good job. 1,350. Okay. Moving on. <clears throat> Number 22, Antonio. Good job. Number 23, Daya. 1,440 ml. Good job. Cheyenne, number 24? 180 ml. 180 ml. Leslie, number 25? 864 ml. Number 26, Euphoria. Okay, we just killed the patient. Number 27, Brian. Dead as well. Okay. Do you want to be in this two shift? Look at them. Like they just they don't want to look at you when they're shaking their heads. Like, I'm gonna pick up your slack. No way. Number 28, Michelle. 600 milliliter. 600 milliliter in customer service. You will learn that teamwork is very important in your job. Okay. Number 29, Zoe. 160 ml. Number 30, everyone. Good job. You can hear who you want to be on your shift. Okay, 672 ml. You can never, you cannot always be a free rider. Once in a while, yeah. Don't your parents kick you out after a certain age? You gotta be on your own. Um, <laughs> I will not kick out my son. <laughs> but some people do. I mean, some parents do. Is Jerry gonna kick out Mason at a certain age? No. Me too. I'm gonna let him live as long as he wants with me, okay? But we can't be free riders forever. But once you get married, you're out. Right? What number did we miss? <clears throat> What's not, what number is yours, Brian? 27. 27. What's 26? Answer, everyone. 2,560 ml. And number 27, everyone. Who understood everything we did today? Did you see how we tried to make time? It works out. Okay. Sometimes we have to do sacrifices. Okay. Not sleeping a few hours. We're shortening our speed. Okay. For us to get things done. Antonio, question. Uh, converting the minutes <clears throat> to hours. In the easiest way? Yeah. Okay. Give me minutes. Total minutes. Two, give me minutes. 250. Seven, uh, 250 minutes. Okay. If this is in minutes, divide it by 60. What's your answer? The exact answer with a decimal. Four point? Six, six, six. Okay, so let's do 4.167. So you put aside the four, you know that it's four hours, right? And what you do is 0 0.167 times 60. Because this is 17% of 60 minutes. You get it? So usually it's 15 for, it's like that, okay? So 0.25, if this becomes 0.25 of 60 minutes is 15 minutes, because a quarter of 60 minutes is 15 minutes. You get it? That's the fastest way to do it. <clears throat> you divide your minutes by 60, you get a whole number and a decimal. That whole number pertains to the hours. And this one pertains to the percentage of 60 minutes. You get it? Yes? I got 10.02. Oh, no, I don't have a calculator. <laughs> Can somebody verify? It's just 10. Okay. So that means your final answer should be four hours and 10 minutes. You got that 750 minutes. Let's do that one. Hmm. Remember somebody got answered 750 minutes? Wasn't it okay for you? Okay, 750 minutes. 750 divided by 60? 
12.5. There you go, perfect. And her answer was 12 hours and five minutes. Nuh uh. Put the 12 hours on the side. What's 0 0.5 of 60 minutes or half of 60 minutes? 30. Then you add your end 30 minutes. Get it? Isn't that the fastest way to convert? Think of the remainder or the decimal as a percentage. Percentage of an hour, which is 60 minutes. Clear? Like I said, I accept if it's a discrepancy of one minute, because I know it has something to do with you rounding off the decimal. Who understood everything we did? Good job. Okay. Any questions? No questions? So tomorrow.